I'm not brave enough to help. Adam and Amanda are going to net the chag tank. So what have we got in here? Just chags and thrushes. Is it thrushes? Plus a few achiever. Yeah, we see a few achiever a minute ago. So we'll be sorting through these, looking for some chagoy and karashigoy for the event. Okay. So we haven't left this tank for some time. So we're expecting some surprises, hopefully. Good surprises. Yeah. Oh, do you want to take that air out? Thanks, Andy. Just go up and get this, this tank next door. <laughs> He's videoing. I'm helping, look. Do you want that? Do you want that gone as well? Right. I'll stand back. In the go, it's like lucky dip. So chags, karashis, achievers. We're just looking for the chags and the karashis. Nothing in there. It's how many nice fish? And calm. How, do you know how many are in there roughly? Five. Ten, actually, probably a hundred, hundred and twenty. Okay. So. This is, um, we're calling them Marudos. I mean, the reason is, is because the parent set we use to breed the vast majority of the fish that are in here is a from Marudo. Marudo. Okay. Yep. And it's a, it's a Karashi Goy based parent, parent set. And we get Karashi Goys and Shama Goys and some Achievers. And some Ogons. Yeah, I think he was a good swimmer. <laughs> they were next door. Yeah. And some sort of char series. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Sorry, Louise. They've been, I mean, they've been heated in there. You can see some bigger body ones in here, definitely, isn't there? Wow, well, that is. So we've got I think, 19 Chargoy uh, entries into the event and 13 Karashi. So we can select from here. And I have a few from the other spawning that we looked at that were in the amongst the Ogons. Um, yes, so right. two or three of each. Which will be Thank later. you, goodbye. My job is done. Is it? <laughs> yep. Okay, thanks. That's it. Right, excuse me. Right. Here's some walkers in here.
We went for a, um, a sort of lighter style of charcoal with these Merudos. The skin quality on the sound is just really outstanding. I mean, Just, when you look at them in a blue bowl or against a nice background, you sort of you start to see this. So splashing it. You start to see some of the skin on them. So it's you might need to zoom in, but the webbing between the scales, this one, can really oh, that is lovely. It's you know special. Um, so do that one. <laughs> yeah. Can you see the skin on? Yeah. This? So these should be very interesting, basic, uh, but basically. Um, yeah. It's a special kind of look to them, isn't it? Hmm. And the colours are sort of developing as they... Is it me or are they a little bit greeny at the minute? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not the best with colours, I'm tad colour blind, but... Okay. <laughs> it, is, it is a... It's on the olive side, should we say. Yeah. And then on the crashes. Oh, on there, look. This is a Karashu, a light coloured one. Lovely. Great skin, skin along the back, amazing, yeah. 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 Clean as well. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Um, so some really interesting prospects here. Are you happy with this for I presume? Yeah, yeah, very much so. It's incredible how different the the spawnings, they look between, this is the, the Marudo parent set, and the Takigawa, which is the other line, is a sort of a Sakai base, from what I understand. Yeah. They do look different. Um, well, there was that real dark one that we see in the other tank this morning. Mm. It was up from the same spawning, yep. I presume. Yeah. That's really fantastic. Um, you do get these sort of chocolatey types, which are on the dark side. Yeah. Um, whenever we produce dark chargoys, people <laughs> tend to then want the light ones. Whenever we produce, no doubt, when we produce light ones, they want the dark ones. But um, the key thing is, is that we produce some of each. It's good, isn't it? Mm. And then there's 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 a, there's a wreck. Oh, wow. The size of that fish—that's crazy, isn't it? detail of this is it the fukarin yeah or whatever it is there on the edge of the scales lovely isn't it so these were spawned in july last year so what's that june may no. 10 months maybe just under 10 months wow. old wow that's really lovely This kind of thing is really what we're aiming at, is a nice light coloured chargoy. That's a good idea. Yeah. Some of this uh, sort of um, atsuriness about it is... I think some underlyingness of yeah. darker patch maybe. I'm not too worried about it. Um, we've selected to, you know, based on the cleanest ones. And what you find is, is that when they've been on the... Once you take them off the food, they tend to... It's almost like uh, the colour subsides a bit. Okay. Yeah. So that's just, you know, a lovely light coloured chargoy. Look at them all. Yeah. That's nice, that is well. The skin, really fantastic. On the back, you see it on the back bone, I don't know if you can get it on the camera. You, the fukuin? Yeah. In a 10 month old fish. So usually with the single coloured fish, you know, 
they, we're talking a few years possibly before the food queen develops. But you're already seeing it now. That's that can only be good, I presume, is that? Yeah. Yeah. And we'd be very happy that, with that. Look at that. that. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yep, it's a keeper. Yeah. Well, it's a koi diaries. It's a koi diaries fish. So we've got to get about 40 between the two varieties, is it? Yep, and we've got the splits. And it's 19 chargoy and, I'm going to say 13 karashi. Let's have another look. So when we did, obviously I've been here a while now, a few hours, we did the Ogons first thing. Did we select them for the, or did you, I can't remember what we did with them. I've. The, 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 we selected the fish for the event, right? And they've stayed in that tank. Okay. Where <clears throat> to keep them separate, the remainder we moved over to here. Yeah, that's, that's right. it. I do remember now. So we're, we're collating. Um, this is our final sort of toe size selection. So we've got the the koi diaries event. It's taking the first picks out of those varieties that we put broad for. Yeah. Put for the koi diaries, and then. Um, the rest of those spawnings, plus our metallic spawnings, give the benefit to the fancy ones. The fancy, yeah. Um, Showa, uh, the other Kahaku that we looked at, Kahakus from some Kahakus from our other two Kahakus spawnings, they're all being brought together as we speak in our tank H1 over there um, to be prepared for release next week. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's the that's the aspect. So just to Keep everything separate. The koi diaries. Oh. Look, that one. He wants to be selected. That one. <laughs> he wants a koi diaries owner. Koi diaries is back into this tank, and then over the next two weeks, we'll renet all the tanks up, move all the koi diaries fish, koi diaries event fish, into their own tank where they'll stay until July. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, and then these tanks will all be reused for spawnings and uh, fish hatching and that kind of thing. Your real work. <laughs> Spring work, which will. Yeah, it's exciting. Not long, not long to go now before we do that, but that is a lovely ogon as well. I like that. Yeah, mm. the other one. Sweet. I think where these came from. Well, there's three or four in there. Maybe did you maybe put them in because you thought they were a bit special? Mm. I think at one point we had the... Well, they next to each other. They were next to each other and when we select fish, you just see the fish jump out of the net. Uh, it does happen, but wow. Wow, 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 look at that. That's from our, from our Makashi, but that's a, that's a Yamabuki. Because I presume a Makashi will have a Yami in it at some point. Anyway, would it normally? Our Matsui line in Makashi has Yamabuki in it on the female side, okay. according to Mike Snowden, who I got them from. And we do get a few in throwbacks or whatever of yes. previous variety that it's inbred with. That's it, which is brilliant. And I'm certainly <laughs> very happy when they come out like that. I mean, that's Tosai, 10 month old. 10 month old. Donkey. Very happy. Mm. That's just sublime, right? It's lovely, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little bit distracted now, I'm not jumping so much. Yeah, they're a little bit skittish, so add them uh, put some food in to try and preoccupy their minds. Mm. Oh, this is so nice. It's a very light colour chargoy. So, um, you know, chargoy. Yeah, the karashis are a little bit more yellowy, aren't Ch they? Karashi, that's chargoy, that's karashi. We have to They're very similar though, aren't they? It's yeah, all... yeah. There's a, there's a, at the most light colour of the chargoy. Um, Could be karashi. Yeah. I think the chargoy at that point though, the differentiator is to have a green, greenness, but we want, I think we want to try and, Select them so that any chargoys that are 
that close. Um, it we'll might make it more obvious. Yeah, maybe yeah. we'll see what you think. We could put some in, but we'll try and pick more of the, the charge goes more in the centre in the centre of the colour range. Okay. Yeah. Makes makes a point. Yeah. Flashes also have a colour range. Um, these have been heavily selected already to get to this point. In the original spawning. No Shisui in here, I'm afraid. No shame. Maybe next time if we do a ground show we can do a <laughs> metallic Shisui. Shisui. Yeah. I'm yet to be sold on them, come on. Yeah, I'm yet to be sold. We have to work harder. Okay, well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to work hard on the breeding parents as well because they are we've definitely got some nice ones, but they have been de uh, very much tricky to breed. We did two Which you'd have thought normally a single colour fish would be easy, you'd have thought maybe, but not these. Oh. Uh, the Benedict Curious. Oh right. Oh yeah. Uh I mean stonking. The we did two parent sets of Benedict Curious last year. It's like a game of mastermind, it's how I describe it to people with the old coloured pins and it's about getting all the, you know you start off with parents, parent fish that have got aspects about them that you really like, they're really good examples in their own right of those fish. But then it's it's like the game of mastermind, it's what we do anyway, to optimise the pairing so yeah. you get the best possible output. And I ran two sets of Banneke Kikuri last year and they were both different I and mean, we've got some nice fish off both, both sets but they're very different output. So it's going to take a few more, um, a few more goes, I think, with different changing appearances yeah. around before I'm ha totally happy with the with the what you've produced it. Yeah, as a, as a in percentage terms. Okay. Right. We start shoving some of these over. We need to. Yes. Uh, right. We need a counter. What do I put my ticker? 76, here we go. Can we do, do it variety by variety just so we can keep count? Yeah. 25, 25 chargoids, isn't it? 25 chargoids and 20 karashi. We'll do 25 chags first, yeah? Okay. Okay. One. Two. Okay, so we'll shallow this off. No, uh, make this a slightly shallower net for them. Then less chance of them jumping, hopefully. We don't have so much of a run up of it. Uh, two. You got two? Yep. yep. Okay. Three. I think two or three there, aren't they? Three. Three. Maybe. Yeah, that's definitely possible. The skin on that's lovely. The, the rest, there's a little dark bit there, but the rest mm. of that fish is really good. We'll have some spares, so definitely we'll have to get yeah. in there. Okay, good. This one. Okay. Maybe this one. Smaller one there, look. Yep. Oops. Lost them. That one. Um. 
That little brownie one there. Okay. Ooh. He's a bit on the small side. Nice colour though. Yeah. Well, it definitely. Right. Should catch up. Looking at his brothers and sisters. Yeah. Not your turn yet. Not that one there. That one? Yeah. That's a very light brown. Eleven. Okay. This one? Yeah. Similar. Three there, but that one looks. These two here. Yeah, they do. Definitely that one. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Good. What about something like this? I've gone for the sort of the lighter colour, but. Yeah, why not? I don't know. Be, I'm sure people like an already darker shag. Yeah. Oh, this one here? Yeah. That really, really stood out, that one. Yeah. I ended up going a bit on the lighter side, but we'll have a look at them as a whole. Good size, good shape, that one. <laughs> Jumpy. This is another one of that style. Three more. Okay. Maybe try to find a darker one. Okay. So, go on. Yep. Oops. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, what about this one? Yep. That's one before. One more. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's have a look at that as a whole. Yeah. There's a few on the outside of the net. <laughs> oh yeah, not the back there. Oh, okay. No, they're in the net, yeah. Let me just, uh, that's it. I'll let you do it, not that, all things and thumbs. <laughs> I'm making a break for freedom. Okay. So we've got some, we've got some different colours here. We've got some, uh, they are on the whole, the lighter colour. Um, we've got some darker ones for, that people might be interested in. Oh, one, one, let's see if we can find a bit bigger. Um, one that's a bit small. It will grow. This one. Yeah. It's very nice. It's like the, the scales on it are awesome, but it is the smaller. It's on the small side, isn't it? You know, we've got we've got some spares, so it's there if somebody wants. Yeah. If it's there if somebody wants it. Um, Not everyone wants a jumbo. No. It's just sort of anything else we can put in and then substitute out. Um, 
that. So one in, we're going to take one out. Yeah. Do you want to leave that in? And that one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Just okay. Just because they're slightly different shade. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. So maybe. Okay. Let's take this one out. Um, what's this? This end. I'm going to maybe take this. Let's. I think maybe you're right with that one because we got, if you're looking at the, the shades of fish, it's the smaller of a similar kind of colour, isn't it? Yeah. This one, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Not there's anything wrong with it. No, no, I understand. It's just about being a nice selection. Yeah. Yeah. Options. Yes. Um, and then, where does this one stack up? We've probably got those. Um, that one's got a little bit of a dark mark on the side, so maybe we'll leave nice fish, but maybe like that. This one. That's very dark. Maybe this one. That's very green, that one, isn't it? Mm. Get that in there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And... Maybe we'll have that as an additional spare. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'd take out. Yeah. If you're happy with that, I think it's a good mix. We've got some darker ones, some lighter ones. Slightly bigger ones, slightly smaller ones. Yeah, nice. Fair mix. Perfect. Right, let's get back in the tank. <laughs> and then we'll work on the karate. Flying fit. Oh, that one wants to go. <laughs> okay. Um, right, I'll just put... I like the skin quality of these fish. And um, there's been that famous... Uh, famous lineage, so look at that. Stunning. Be very interesting, people. Very interesting. Karashi. <laughs>